I want you to watch this short clip and we will be talking. I mean, we will be doing a lot of talk. Um, this short clip will tell you a lot about Yole Doche and Judy Austin. At times in life, people might think it's a joke. At times, people might think it's just a joke, but it's actual life, reality of it being played out. But before we proceed, like and share, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell for your new year, returning subscribers and those that have been here with us, I say thank you for being here. Tap on the thanks button to encourage us to do more. If you want to hold anybody, hold your wife. What is wrong? Hold your wife, you can What is wrong? Hold your wife. I'm your wife. In one office and one. Hold me. Keep romance me. Have you gone mad? Oh, give me. You've not seen madness, Ikenga. If ever I walk, you want me to allow this thing to snatch my husband away from me? It will never happen. Oh, man, man. What is wrong with you? Huh? In case you don't know, I married this woman. Okay? Mm. I went to her place with my kinsmen and I paid her bride price. Mm. Respect her. Mm. That is your decision. No, that is mine. That is not my decision. I will make my own today and I'm making it so now. Hey, better go. You have, you have go. insulted me enough in this house. You have insulted me enough. I've had it up to here. It will end this night. King, I see there be a man Come and touch your wife. So, so Yola Doche and Judy Austin, they've been on this thing for a long time. Exactly the scene played out just now is the same that happened in reality. I mean, Judy Austin, just listen to her. She wasn't just doing that as a movie scene or joke. It was actually the reality that she eventually got exposed after so many years, about 10 years, she got exposed. She has been frolicking here and there with Yole Doche. Hmm. This was what she would have done if May had been lenient, quiet, submissive. This is what would have happened in their home. If she had permitted Yole Doche to return back home as husband, Judy Austin would have come in and what you saw and what you are still seeing is exactly what would have happened. Even at that emotional period, painful period, that Yole Doche lost a son. We are using he lost a son because um, if you sacrifice your son, you did not lose a son. You sacrifice. So it's not going to be like that kind of loss. So let's say when me lost that boy, can be. According to Sarah Martins, a friend back in those years, partner in crime, mm, she said, Judy Austin called me and called you. It was a three-way call. Sarah Martins kept quiet and Judy Austin was talking to Yola Duche. That's on one side. Now, another scene, another scenario is um, Judy telling Sarah Martins what she told Yole Doche, like, don't mind that one. Uh, what son did he lose? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. He should just come here and service Mike Pekus. Mike Pekus is calling for him. And this is a man that lost his son. She cares less, like, why is he going there to pretend? After all, we all know the purpose of the R.I.P., why are you going there to pretend to the world as if you're mourning? You're not mourning any child. No, not at all. You're not. She knows. Probably Sarah Martin does not know. But I think she knows, but she's being very tactical about this for now. So why are you going there to pretend? Come back home here. Come here. Come and service my because because... There is no need for all these, uh, you know, trick, pretense. No, come back here and service my quickus. That's it. Just imagine what would have happened in that house if that polygamy. In fact, maybe you, Leducha, would not have lasted. Or maybe they were allowing to last a bit just for the servicing. That is if they really need the servicing. Because within a twinkling of an eye, you, Leducha, will expire. 
who knows, maybe then, you let Deutsche's father will call him and say, you have added two problems to your life, uh, or you have added one problem to your life. I don't know what advice, because he has a lot of, uh, you know, proverbs to offer to Yole Deutsche. But by that time, it will be too late. Who knows what will become of Yole Deutsche? Who knows? Look at her attitude. Look at her display. Those are the kind of role they give to her or the village woman. Uh, come and touch me. Touch your wife. And Yule Duce is saying, I paid a bright price. Do you know how long this movie is? This was before, I think, before he came out to say, I am poly I'm a polygamist. This was before, just short period before then. Because you can see that Judy Austin is plumpy as she is. Back in those years, this movie cannot be 12 years ago. No, this movie will be probably um, three, four years. Let's just give it like four, three, four years thereabout. Thereabout, if I'm correct. Or thereabout. That, this is pr before, probably one year before or six months before the board announced. Yeah. So they, they, they already were, they, they were practicing, playing out what would have happened if that polygamy had happened, if it had worked. They are playing it out. And this was what Yule Deutsche believed. Like, you know what? This is what is going to ha be happening. I will try to touch me. May will be like, oh, my love, my dear. And Judy also will come in. Eh, please, 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 please. I'm also a woman. I'm not a stick. Please do your duty. And you, you, you just imagine, in fact, this, it is, it, women, it is good that you're also with your, your, your man. And make sure, even if it's a quarter, that you put into that house or whatever. Make sure you do that. For those women that like to, you know, jump into the life of a man that is settled. I'm not saying it's not a good thing. You might meet a man that is already fulfilled financially. He has at least, he's able to put you in a house that is comfortable. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But look at it. Look at this one. Look at this one. Well, as long as you are married legally, I think... If such happens, you'll be able to like and get a house or get something, at least somewhere to keep your head. Just imagine if it was you, Ledoche, that built this house and then uh, probably put the name on his father or his own mother. He will, by law, provide a place for his children, probably pay half of the rent or whatever the court decides. He will still have to put this, his children somewhere to stay. Just imagine how he would have kicked me out of the house and probably rent a, a self-contained one room, you know, a studio somewhere for them. Maybe where he's going to pay less and say, hey, I don't know. This is that is what I can afford. And the court will be like, you know, you have to get them to a place that is close to their school. I will be like, OK, OK, I will see what I can do. It would have been I mean, it would have been easy. It would have been easy. Look at how, <laughs> look at Judy Austin. Uh, touch your wife. Hold your wife. Uh, touch your wife. This is the life that she wanted to live with Yule Doche. It's quite unfortunate. Wow. Thank God for me. Thank God for her that she quickly jumped out of the mess, quickly jumped out of this rubbish. Because I don't know how much strength Yule Doche has. <laughs> it's, it's a serious one uh, what do you think about this one drop your comment like and share see you in the next one